Hello everybody, it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. I have a video that I want to show you today. I was going to full on film an unboxing but I just got way too excited when this item turned up on my doorstep. I had to unbox it there and then. Um, but this is something that I have been waiting for seven months? Yeah, seven months because I ordered it at the start of September. This is the limited edition TJ Jackson vinyl on white vinyl and not only is it limited edition because there is 500 mine is super limited edition because it's signs out of 100. I am literally almost slap bang in the middle of that first 100. I am number 51. Um, I just kind of want to show you what the vinyl is and how happy I am with it. Also side note I feel like if one day TJ does watch this video he's gonna be like there's a pillow back there with me and my uncle on it where did she get that it's custom three <laughs> t's music video y was how i discovered three t um i only discovered them a few years ago i've been a michael jackson fan for 14 years and i'd say only about five six years ago was i aware that you know michael had nephews that formed a group called three t that were like a big deal in the 90s <laughs> So uh, yeah, I remember that getting a CD one day, I went to a marketplace and I said, I want every single Michael Jackson related CD that you have. And I remember this guy gave me a stack. There was a lot of CDs that he gave me and one of them was 3TY. And I was like, oh, that's Michael, but who are these three boys? And he was like, oh, they're Michael's nephews. I think they were huge back in the nineties. They're quite like low key now, but like, you know, they're still out there doing things. And yeah, that was about five, five years ago. So that's how I discovered 3T because of why. So I just felt that that was necessary. <laughs> it probably wasn't, it probably wasn't on a pillow. Like I didn't need to get it on a pillow, but like, yeah. But yeah, I just want to show you this vinyl. I want to tell you everything about it because it's an incredible vinyl. I have been waiting for this for so long and it's finally here today. And I just want to show you. So the vinyl actually looks like this. This is the Insomnia artwork made by Omar. And I actually painted this. Where is it? Hold on. So this is my painting. It. Why does it look so bad now? Okay, on my Instagram, it looks really good. But now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in it. Okay, I mean, Georgia, that's... don't beat yourself up about it. His face looks a little bit off, but other than that, like, you know what it is. Okay, that's all that matters. Uh, this is the vinyl. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm keeping it in the protective packaging. I don't have protective packaging for any of my 12 inch vinyls actually, which is super bad. Um, I did spend a lot of money on 12 inch um, sleeves for all my vinyls and they arrived and they were too small. And I, I messaged the company like, you said these were for 12 inch vinyls. And they were like, yeah, but that's a 12 inch vinyl without the, the like this bit, just, just for the vinyl. And I was like, are you joking? You could have told me that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I ever even got a refund because I don't like messing people around like that. Like if I've spent so, so much money on something and it is completely not what I paid for, but when it gets here, then I'll complain. But um, if it's like a small inconvenience, like, I feel bad about contacting the company, like, it's not how, like, I was expecting it or something like that. I just don't like to mess people around, which is, I'm gonna get into something with you in a second. <laughs> but yeah, this is the vinyl. Um, it came with protective packaging, so perfect, TJ, thank you. And this is what it looks like. It is signed. It says, love always, TJ. Is that, like... TJ and then a I don't know so this is the inner sleeve um this is TJ and Stella is that her name Stella Kim yeah I remember this music video came out and I was like this is a beautiful music video and the song is beautiful as well um I like I said I, I've known about 3T for about uh five five six years 
but I didn't know that TJ was bringing out a solo career until after Insomnia came out. Uh, I didn't know, you know, that he was releasing a song. It came out and then it was like, have you heard that TJ Jackson released a song? Like, he's becoming a solo artist now. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And so I loved the song. It was my favorite for a really, really long time. And I then found out that a few months later, not even a month later, really, he was releasing another song. So I did a makeup look for it. And it was the first ever, ever makeup look I did on my chest. Um, so thank you, TJ. You are what sprouted me into who I am today because I wouldn't have done a chest look for anyone else. Um, but yeah, his second song, I Don't Deserve This, was my first ever chest look. But Insomnia was his first look. And I don't think I've ever done a makeup look for Insomnia. Maybe... Why can I do that backwards? But yeah, this is just the sleeve. It's so pretty. And here's the final look. Bro, don't make me. Okay. So this is the vinyl. It comes on a white vinyl. And I remember pu pulling this out of the sleeve when I was downstairs. And I was like, there's no grooves on this because it's so clean and so like pristine perfect. There are grooves on it, obviously. Uh, it just comes with uh, side A is Insomnia Original and Insomnia Instrumental. And then on side B is Insomnia Acoustic and Acapella. Okay, so as soon as I got my vinyl, of course, I wanted to play it. Uh, unfortunately, I had a college call to attend first. Um, thankfully, my Wi-Fi cut out halfway through the call, so I got to leave early. And of course, I was straight away putting on my record player. And I noticed that it didn't sound right at all. Almost like my record player, you know, wasn't plugged in properly. And so I checked all the wires, I turned my record player on and off, checked the pin, everything was perfect with the record player. And then I placed a vinyl on it just to check. I This was the first one I grabbed. I put this on the record player. It worked perfectly. And so I was super scared that, um, something had happened to my vinyl maybe a malfunction or something so I played it over and over again just to make sure there was no dust on it uh, unfortunately the first 30 seconds of my vinyl is corrupted is that how you would say it warped um, TJ's voice is sort of all over the place uh, but it only does it for 30 seconds so I am I'm not mad you know, there's nothing that anyone can do about it. It's not TJ's fault, it's not Omar's fault, it's not the company's fault. Maybe it's just a malfunction, I really don't know what's wrong with it. I've checked, uh, it's not dirty, I can't see any scratches, so I really don't know what happened. The grooves are so fine that, like I said, I thought there was no grooves on it at all, so I really cannot tell what happened to the first 30 seconds of my vinyl but please don't let that put you off if you're thinking about buying it because honestly everything else about it is bro just bent this everything else about the vinyl is completely 100 percent perfect didn't waste my money at all didn't waste my money at all um i have spoken to omar about the vinyl and about it being warped i felt so bad about it i really didn't want to tell him because I didn't want them to panic. I didn't want them to think that the vinyl was, you know, made wrong. I didn't want them to think that at all. Um, I was convinced to tell them just because, you know, if you're selling your first ever vinyl and there is something wrong with even one of them, I'm pretty sure you'd want to know. So I did say something. Hopefully we can come to the bottom of why this has happened. I'm just saying it's my fault and I left it on the doorstep a bit too long in the sun. That's what I'm trying to tell myself because I just feel so bad. Um, but other than that, the vinyl is absolutely perfect. No one else has a problem with their vinyl. It's just mine. <laughs> TJ, the vinyl is absolutely perfect. Omar, the artwork is perfect. Everything about this vinyl is perfect. I'm not complaining. Also, if you ordered um, before a certain time, TJ, also sent you a signature. Now I do have this picture and another signature with this picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking so much. I do have this picture 
with a signature from months ago. It actually says my name and it has a little bit of a personal message on it, which I've shown before, but I'm not gonna get it out now just because it's with my other signatures. I would love to do a video on my signatures, actually. I have many signatures and do you know what about seven of them are from Jonathan Moffat which I think is just incredible and that's a whole story in itself the stuff that I got from Jonathan Moffat aka Sugarfoot if you follow me on Instagram you'll know where and how I got all that stuff from him um if you want to know I can do a video about it I can talk about my signatures where they came from how I got them um but yeah so this is my this will be my third TJ Jackson signature now. This one just says Love Always TJ. This one is in a frame with a border. The other signatures just, you know, glass frame, no border or anything. But this was special. This one is, you know, special. Even though actually the one with my name on it is more special than this one, but. <laughs> and I feel like I had to save this. It's, it's the sticker that <laughs> was on the box. It's of TJ's an emoji but yeah it was on the box I felt like it was necessary to keep so I'm keeping it but there you have it that is my limited edition TJ Jackson white vinyl um like I said yes the first 20 or so seconds of the vinyl was a little bit warped but I do not hold anyone to blame I keep telling myself it's my fault even though I don't really know how it could be my fault it's no one's fault let's just say it's no one's fault I'm not mad. I was scared, if anything. I was really scared, especially to tell someone that it was a little bit warped. Um, I didn't even want to tell my mum. I was just going to keep it to myself. But, you know, there was a slight bit of disappointment, like, oh no, like, what happened to it? So, uh, yeah, but I'm not mad. That's, that's a good thing. I'm not mad. I'm just... I'm scared. I don't know what happened to it. But yes, thank you so much, TJ, for releasing this. This is... I bought this the day it came out and as you know I'm a huge vinyl collector I collect music of all sorts CDs cassettes vinyls vinyls are my favorite um, my CD collection sort of happened on accident I was never too fond of CDs but it turned into a collection and then I started loving them so I bought them constantly and I have probably over 50 CDs especially Michael Jackson CDs. I have a lot of Michael Jackson CDs. I'd say I have about over 60 vinyls. That's uh, 12 inch and seven inch vinyls. So about, probably about 60. Um, definitely my favorite one is the Insomnia vinyl and it will be on the top shelf in my glass display area, so. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't talk too much. Um, I'm still going to keep saying that the warp at the start of the insomnia vinyl doesn't bother me, okay people? It's it's not an issue. It's not an issue. I'm obviously a tiny bit disappointed, but there's no one to blame for it. It's no one's fault. Um, I don't know what happened to it. No, no one knows what happened to it, so nothing's ever perfect. So, But I actually think that this is perfect. I think that the design, everything it was perfect. I will leave a link in the description to where you can buy this. I don't know how many there are left, as like I said, it is limited now. Um, you can't buy any signed ones anymore, and I don't think that if you buy one now, you'll get a signature with it. I'm not too sure. Um, like I said, I bought mine very, very early on, literally the day it came out, so that's why mine came with a signature on the vinyl and uh, separately as well. I think if you order one now, you're just going to get the vinyl, but either way, it's worth it. I will leave a link in the description. I really, really hope that you liked this video, and just let me know if you want to see any more videos, you know, any any videos about uh, my signatures that I have, um, any personal stories, because I have a lot of stories that you guys are super interested in, apparently. A lot of you want to know about a lot, I've been told. You, you <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I love you so much. Bye.